guys, welcome back to Cruz HOU. This is a uh, follow-up video to my previous Max unboxing in comparison to the Segway ES series. So since that last video, uh, after riding the Max for about 100 miles, I decided to ditch the ES altogether. Um, features overall on the Max uh, make me comfortable moving forward with only it. Um, so I just want to jump right into those features that we, that we really were attracted to the Max for. So first, let's talk about speed. We were expecting a, uh, an increase in speed from the ES series, um, about 15 or 16 miles an hour up to 18 or 19 miles an hour with the max. Um, I can absolutely achieve that. However, it is important to note that those top speeds are really only, um, really only there for the first 20% of the battery or so. Once you get down to 80, um, 75, 80%, generally the top speed is gonna drop off from 18, 19 miles an hour um, to back to where the ES is at 15 or 16. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm still very satisfied with the, with the speed I'm able to achieve here. So as far as um, range, uh, published range of 40 miles, I've not been able to do a full uh, mileage test in the first 100 miles, just haven't found the opportunity to spend that much time on the scooter. However, um, I was able to achieve um, a max range so far of 26 miles uh, and that was um, achieved between drive and sport mode um, over the course of a single ride, um, averaging about uh, 14 or 15 miles an hour. So um, well beyond my expectations of 26 miles point. I still had maybe 30 or 40 percent of battery to go, so I anticipate being able to hit the, the 30 mile mark. Um, even though I'm, I'm over the published uh, weight range at, at about 240 pounds, I can still get that, that huge range out of the max. So, very impressed with that so far. Uh, so as far as the features of the scooter so far, um, a few things. Um, the user interface is very similar to the other, to the ES series as well as some of the other competitors on the market. Um, with all the kind of critical information, speed, battery range, as well as drive mode, and uh, an icon to tell you if you're connected through Bluetooth. Um, so, so satisfied with that, really nothing of note there. Um, as far as the controls, brake lever, hand grips, and accelerator, still satisfied with everything. It still feels of good quality. I've not noticed any, uh, any breakdown or concerns over, uh, over quality to date. Now, moving down a little bit, the headlight. So the headlight is really the only feature so far that I've found uh, leaves something to be desired. It's not the brightness that's the issue. That's the issue. I really think it is positioning. So um, oddly enough, it, it basically, um, when you're riding in the dark, it, there's a gap between the front wheel and the start of where you can see the light effectiveness about two feet. Uh, so you can't really see what's immediately in front of you. And then the viewing area of the light is only another two or three feet. So you can't see 10 or 12 feet out in front of you if you're in really dark conditions using the headlight. So I may have to add an additional light there for, for nighttime use. Um, as far as the folding mechanism, I've noticed that, uh, that it, it's, it's really robust. I don't really have any concerns over it, um, you know, giving me any problems over its life. It is kind of nice between the ES series and the Max to know exactly what the wheelbase is, um, as it doesn't really change when you fold the scooter down. Um, rather than the wheel flipping out, it stays in place and folds above it. Um, so with, with uh, the folding mechanism, I've got to address the size. So I nearly skipped on the Max due to the published wheelbase and really a concern that, hey, is this thing really going to fit in my car for me to be able to bring it where I want to go? So um, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the first time I tried to put it in the back of my very small uh, Ford Focus hatchback, I'm able to fit it down in there um, without really moving anything around. Um, so as far as portability in the car, if it fits in my car, I would imagine it'll fit in most. I don't really have a ton of space back there. Um, as far as the overall uh, riding platform, no, no issues. Again, a very good quality. A bit more space than my previous ES uh, version, um, which is certainly comfortable. Um, finally, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the, the way the, the back fender is built into the, the platform. And it just feel, feels weak. You know, it, it, um, it's a little bit flimsy. I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up over the life of the scooter. I feel like I kind of have to be careful not to step on it or anything like that just because um, it doesn't appear to be very strong. But not really giving me any issues yet, just something that I'm going to watch for in the future. 
Um, overall, the, the other thing is the pneumatic tires, right? So, so that was a big one. Um, there's no suspension on this scooter, so I, I really was interested to see how the pneumatic tires were gonna smooth out bumps on the kind of rough streets and sidewalks of, uh, of downtown Houston. And I'm here to say, um, they've actually performed pretty excellently. Uh, it's much smoother than the previous ES3 version that I had. Um, overall, I'm very satisfied. The scooter came out of the box with the correct air pressure, and we've had some massive temperature swings in, in Texas over the past month or so. Um, you know, one day being 80, 80 degrees, the next day being 32 degrees. So I would have anticipated some fluctuation. However, so far, um, I've not had to add any, uh, add any air pressure at all. Um, so, so pneumatic tires have been great to this point, not losing any air and, uh, and really been, been holding up quite well. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it uh, to date. So within the first hundred miles, very satisfied with the scooter overall. Um, I guess accessories, I've not really added much of anything to the scooter to date. Uh, just a small red light, which is going to, uh, I feel just gives a little bit more visibility when nighttime riding. And, uh, and also bought the nine bot um, foam holder, which so far has been great. Um, I will say that it's important as the user, whenever you put your phone on there, uh, to be sure it's secured correctly. I had one incident in which my phone fell out, but it was because of operator error. I didn't, I didn't put the phone in there correctly. So uh, overall, very satisfied with it. So that's it. That's my 100, 100 mile update for the uh, 9 bot Max. The next time that you see me, I hope to be reviewing the 200 mile point, uh, which hopefully comes sooner rather than later. And, uh, and we'll kind of go further into details on, on what the experience has been so far. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions at all about the experience so far, feel free to, uh, to add in the comments. All right, till next time, peace.